You want to learn how to make the hottest beats? Let me show you. First, pick a scale. These are the only keys you may press. Next, find the chords in that scale. These are the only chords you may use. Now take your little scale and your chords and all that, load up a piano, bring it on over, and let's get to work. I'm gonna make it even simpler. Since we're using a 4-4 time measure, I'm gonna pick four chords. I chose chords one, four, two, and one. So that makes it a one, four, two, one chord progression. Simple. Here are the four chords. D minor, G minor, E diminished, back to D minor. Next, load up another sound and press only the keys in the D minor scale. Preferably one of the keys of the chords that you just played especially if it's the root note or the tonic of the scale. The tonic of the scale being D and the root note of each chord being the first note. Unless it's an inversion, we're not gonna go there right now. But check it out. I tripled up each note that I played. Here's the D. The G, the E, back to the D. I also EQ'd it. I'm gonna add a clap and I'm gonna make the bass. Now I load up a little violin. Let's make a melody. Only hitting the notes in the D minor scale. Now let's add a counter melody. Let's start working on some drums. Let's do a hat first. I'll go in, add in some rolls, switch up the length of the notes. make the kick so simple for you. I want you to grab a copy of the bass, slide it down to the kick, go in there, then bring them all down to your root note, just like that. Now play back your song and go in there and add what I like to call ghost kicks. Now listen to that together with the bass. Simple. You can make a variation out of that now. Do what you like. Now I'm gonna stretch this out into a song, add possibly another pattern, then add effects, ducking, all that good stuff. Here we go. Now you really wanna pop this off with that kick in the bass hitting at the same time. Let's do some ducking. First, we take the kick, send a copy of it to bus 10 or any bus. Then we go back to the bass, we'll add a compressor, and then we side chain. We look for a side chain from bus 10. There's the kick. Now, it's gonna receive the information from the kick. Every time that the kick hits, I want the bass to duck. So I'll set this up, bring up the threshold. Nothing's happening until we go into the kick and fully send. All of it over there. There's your needle showing you it's working. Simple.
if you don't take anything away from this video take away that tip and the tip in the beginning about choosing your scale and staying on the notes with those two tips you'll go far I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you take some of this stuff and incorporate it into your mix and see how much better your songs and your beats will be. Listen to this.